it's Jaden from Steamy Kitchen. We are testing this Emusa electric ex espresso maker. Uh, I've been using this for the past two weeks and I actually really, really love it because I'm the only one that drinks any sort of coffee in the house. Um, so it's perfect for, for one. Anyways, this is a, this is the way I grind my coffee. It's a burr grinder um, made from Capresso and it would help if I plugged it in. This coffee maker, this espresso maker, calls for a medium grind, so it's loud. Okay, and I filled this with water already and this is, this is the unit right here. Um, this also comes with it. This is if you're only making, they say, three cups of espresso. Um, it's plastic uh, up on top, and the traditional, what you're used to seeing, um, the bottom is pretty much all the same, except for, of course, it's electrical. So this screws up on top, just like this. But before we screw that on top, where's my filter? And we're gonna fill this up with coffee. So there's water in here already. Putting coffee in. I don't, I don't measure my coffee, I just kind of, I know, not right, I should measure it, right? Screw this up on top, and that's it. Well, no, that's not it, but let me clean this up a bit, I'm making a mess. Put this on the electric doohickey, just like that, plug this in, and flip the switch. You use this if you're using less coffee to make less espresso, but this is for a three cup attachment. Um, this should make six cups of espresso, which actually equals about um, one, you know, two regular size cups for me. So now we wait. Oh, look, here it comes. So that's about three and a half minutes, and it takes about four minutes from the time you push a button to you can pour, which is typical for um, making coffee, but look how beautiful this is. Can you see that? Gorgeous. It's just um, pressurized so that the coffee comes um, comes to a boil. It's pressurized and it pushes um, pushes the coffee up and over into this carafe. I really like the style of coffee and espresso. However, I wish this was glass and not plastic. and you can hear it turn off, so it is done. And that was almost exactly four minutes. I'm gonna go ahead and pour the coffee. So like I said, this makes six cups of espresso, but I drink coffee, I don't like to drink itty bitty cups of espresso. Sometimes, if I really want it strong, I'll just drink it like this. Um, if I like it less strong, I'm making a Americano, which is um, part espresso and then hot water the rest of the way. So this, um, I really do like it. It's the perfect size. It doesn't take up a whole lot of space on my counter. It's portable. I mean, this is the base. There's, it's not a big unit. Um, makes fantastic coffee. Mmm, strong. Woo! <laughs> Great price for this. I and the, what I love about this is I actually tr love um, their traditional stovetop espresso makers, but you had to watch it and you had to make sure you know you had to turn it off, turn, wait for your stove to heat up, and um, watch it, turn it off on, in time. And with this, it's automatic turn off, four minutes from beginning to end. Um, so this is the Imusa Electric Espresso Maker. Okay, and so if you're still watching, I'll show you what I do. <laughs> this is Bailey's. I don't do this every morning. Oh yeah. Right, Nathan? This is awesome. This is Patron, Cafe Patron. It is the best, and this is my dessert. I have this, usually I'll do this, actually, for dessert, I don't even have the coffee. I just have these two together, and it's called Baby Guinness, is what the drink is called. Just these two, forget the coffee, but. 
If I'm having a bad day, Patron coffee liqueur, Bailey's, and espresso. <laughs> Cheers. I'm having one of those days. Am I? You think so?